According to a British bishop, it's the one thing we leave till last. The question of heaven, the question of what happens um, after death, is one which a lot of people in our culture try to put off as long as they can. It's also one of life's certainties. But sooner or later it suddenly swings round and looks them in the eye. Believers and unbelievers have strong views about what happens when you die. For centuries Christians have believed that their destiny after death is heaven, a spiritual place where they, along with a myriad of angels, sing praises to God for eternity. But is it possible that Christians may have got this part of their faith badly wrong? Bishop Tom Wright, based in the north of England, is one of the world's foremost theologians, teaching at a range of universities from Oxford to Harvard. He says that many of us only started thinking about heaven after we got a glimpse of hell. September the 11th happened, and an awful lot of people, I was working in London at the time, were asking, oh my goodness, death, you know, what is this all about? Because for a lot of people, they don't expect folk to die in their 20s and 30s, you know, so suddenly it was hitting people. The specific event of 9-11 was a factor in making you reflect, think about this issue. 9-11 was a factor in making me realise that some people were ready to ask the question. And that question of what happens when we die is one that he says Christians have been confused about for centuries. Silence the pianos and with muffled drum. Bishop Wright Bring points to coffee. films like the romantic comedy Four Weddings and a Funeral, come. where people invent ideas about the, the afterlife that are not in scripture. Scribbling on the sky, the message... He is dead. There's a lot of funeral services, sadly, which go that route these days. Death is nothing at all, I've just slipped away into the next room and so on. Anyone who's grieved and anyone who's worked with anyone who's grieved knows that it's a lie. Death is a monster. Death is horrible. So now, in a radical departure from traditional belief, Bishop Wright says that Christians are not ultimately destined for heaven. Instead, he says that at the end of time, God will literally remake our physical bodies and return us to a newly restored planet. Heaven is important, but it's not our final destination. If you want to say that when someone dies, they go to heaven, fine, but that's only a temporary holding pattern. That is life after death, and what I'm much more interested in, what the New Testament is much more interested in, is what I've called life after, life after death. So, we have this period of heaven, and then at some point, we don't know when, there's going to be a resurrection, mm. and all things will become new on the earth. That's what you're saying. And heaven and earth joined together in a new reality. And that somehow, our identity will continue mm. across that process. We don't know how. Mm. We don't know if we'll recognise ourselves. Do you think we will? I think we will recognise ourselves and one another. Do you think you'll recognise your relatives? Your oh, sure. Your yes. loved ones? Yes. But this interpretation is the exact opposite of what many American Christians believe. Great people are missing. Dozens of seats. Empty. Patty, it's a big airplane. People are probably in the lab. I'm telling you, they're not here. They're not anywhere. The hugely successful Left Behind series of movies and books that have sold more than 65 million copies is an apocalyptic vision of the end of the world, a view shared by many evangelicals. According to those who believe it, the end of the world will start with the so-called rapture, when all Christians will be taken up to heaven in one momentous swoop. The earth then enters a period of cataclysmic wars until it eventually disintegrates in a final chapter of fire. But Bishop Wright says that this is more mythical than biblical. The whole left behind myth is just that. It's a myth. It is an attempt to make sense of some bits of the New Testament. So you don't believe in the rapture either? No. He says that instead of destroying the earth, God will somehow rebuild and restore the universe to its original intended form of physical perfection. Otherwise, he says, what's the point in caring about the planet or its people? 
if you really believe that what happens at death is that you leave behind the world of space, time and matter, you're never going to be bothered with it again, you're never going to have a physical body again, um, and that ultimately God is going to throw this whole world on the rubbish heap somewhere, then what's the fuss to work for justice in the present? What's the fuss about AIDS? What's the problem about global debt? You know, these are trivial and irrelevant. What matters is whether you're going to heaven tomorrow or next week. Although Surprised by Hope is about the afterlife, Bishop Wright wants Christians to focus on how their final destination should affect their lives in the here and now. Though I work in a very tough area of Britain, there are all sorts of conditions of poverty and, and, and de deprivation. And if all I thought was, oh well, if I teach these people the truth, then they'll go to heaven when they die, then why would I bother working with often desperately needy people? And it's because I believe in God's kingdom of justice and peace, this gives me the energy and the focus to work for the kingdom of God in the present.